Last time on Total Drama Random Island, Taylor is attempting to get intimate with Duncan, making Kitty jealous. Lorenzo admitted he had a crush on Millie, and in the challenge, Owen spilled the beans on his deal with Millie. In the challenge, Jock's attempts to thwart the enemy team were successful, and despite Millie getting all the votes she needed to vote Justin off, Lorenzo was eliminated after Ella used an idol on him, sealing Lorenzo's fate. Justin approaches Millie and he asks if she's ready to give up this pointless battle against him, and she says not yet, she will find a way to come back, and Justin says he hoped she wouldn't say that, that will only cause more trouble than it's worth. Millie tries to tell him to wait, but Justin says not to worry, she won't be the one facing the consequences for her actions. DJ asks Ella if he did the right thing not taking a side, and Ella says that it was an unfortunate situation he was in. He did the right thing not picking a side and being their friends till the end. Justin goes to Owen, and Justin asks how Owen has been, and Owen says he'd been doing really good. Justin says he will cut to the chase, don't ever betray him again, okay? Owen says he can be convinced with some food, and Justin says that he'll give him all of his meals from now on. Owen says it's a deal. Dwayne tells Kitty that he's not trying to act like her idea isn't good, but if she likes Duncan, maybe she should just tell him. Kitty says that's not romantic enough, the mood needs to be right before she asks him out. Dwayne points out that while she's getting ready, someone else is filling that spot. Kitty asks if he's referring to Taylor, and Dwayne says that it is a possibility. Kitty says there's no way she'd date Taylor, Duncan has good taste. Pete arrives and asks if they've seen Duncan and Taylor recently, they look like they're three seconds away from going to Makeout City. Jock asks Sammy what he should do, and Spud says that whenever he's nervous, he eats. Jock says he wasn't talking to him. Sammy says that Taylor is possibly playing Duncan, so maybe she'd be willing to vote him out. Jock asks if she would be okay bringing Taylor along, and Simmy says that they would hold majority. Spud says that Taylor harshes his vibe, they should get Pete instead into the alliance. Jock says that that's the first smart thing Spud has said. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. Today we will be hunting some deer. Half of you will be deer while the other half will be hunters. Hunters for killer bass will be Jock, Pete, Kitty, and Sammy. Deer will then be of course Dwayne, Duncan, Spud, and Taylor. Duncan says in confessional that I will have to carry this challenge I guess, but hey that gives me time to search for the idol. Chris says that by the way the idol has been found and used already. Screaming gophers hunters are B, Owen and Ella, while the deer are DJ, Justin, Millie and Elodie. Let's give the deer a head start. Jock asks Pete if he's ever thought of joining his side and Pete says that honestly he just wanted to be on the side of whoever didn't have Taylor. And now it seems like his has Taylor. Jock tells him that he should flip and Pete says that he's not sure. He likes Dwayne and doesn't want to mess with a good thing. Kitty tells Jock to focus on the challenge so they won't have to vote anyone off. Sammy goes to her and asks if they do lose if they'd like to vote Taylor off tonight, and Kitty says that she's not sure. On one hand, Taylor seems to be getting along with Duncan, but on the other, B signifies that he will set traps around the area, and Owen says that that is a great idea. Ella says that she will survey the perimeter then. Owen says that he is a master hunter, so he can be the main one on the hunt before covering himself in urine. As the game starts, Owen begins shooting at Taylor and Duncan, and they begin running away. After a bit of running, Duncan asks if he's lost him, and Taylor asks how she should know. Taylor says she's too hungry for this, she's gonna steal something from the chow hall. Duncan says that it's probably a better idea to be in the challenge, and Taylor says that nobody tells her what to do. As they begin walking on their separate ways, they get stuck to each other, and Taylor asks what they will do now, and Duncan asks if she wants to make out. Taylor immediately says, "you," and Duncan asks what she means by "you." Is he not good enough for her? Taylor says that he's not even a 4 out of 10. Duncan is shocked and says that she's not any better, she weighs more than a woman should. Dwayne is running from Owen before getting caught in a trap, and Owen gloats about how his skills helped him do this, and Dwayne says, Alright, you caught me. You can let me down now. Jack finds Justin, and Justin begs for him not to shoot him. Jack says he hopes it hurts as much as possible, but before he can shoot, he is shot in the back by Ella, who yells for Justin to run, and he does so. Kitty aims her paintball gun at DJ before seeing DJ get alerted by a snapped twig, and he hops away. Kitty in confessional says that she doesn't think that's normal. B notices Spud eating something, and Spud asks if he wants something, and B shoots him. Spud in confessional says that that was weird. Taylor yells for help, and Duncan asks if she's insane. If she calls out for help, it will alert the other team. That's when Ella comes out and says she's sorry for this before hitting Duncan and Taylor with the paintballs. Chris says that the Screamy Gophers are the winners. Taylor and Duncan are separated, and Duncan says he hates her, and Taylor says that she hates him more. 
Dwayne tells Kitty that now would be the perfect time to swoop in and take his side, and Kitty says that she doesn't think so. Before elimination, Jock asks Sammy if she has a vote secured, and she nods her head. Jock goes to Pete and says that secretly, Duncan is planning to vote you off, and Pete is shocked before saying that he will give that run a piece of his mind. Jock says to calm down, he has a much better way to get back at him. At elimination, Chris says that he has never seen such a lopsided game of paintball before. Like, none of you were able to hit a deer even once. Jock in confessional says that it's not from a lack of trying. If you get a marshmallow, you are safe. Kitty, Dwayne, Pete, Jock, Spud, Sammy, and the final marshmallow of the night goes to... Taylor. Duncan is shocked and asks why they would keep Taylor over him, and Pete says that he thought they were voting him tonight, so he flipped. Duncan asks where he got that idea from, the plan was always Taylor. Pete says it was Jock, and Jock smiles as he knows he has won. Duncan says whatever, let's get this over with before beginning to walk away, but Kitty stands up and tells him to wait before going over and giving him a kiss. And she says that she's been wanting to do that for a while. Duncan says that at least there's one bright spot from this before going on the boat of losers. And that's that for Total Drama Random Island Episode 8. What did you think? Question of the week, who is your current favorite character in this series? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.